Hey guys, it's Marisa, your home educator coach and founder of My Homeschool Roadmap. I've got this educational option that I've used on our two children that everybody seems to want to know about. So here it is. It's an option that allows you to be able to have more time with your teens. Okay, that, that might not seem very... <laughs> Um, okay, for those of you who say no to that, it's okay. I don't know who you are. You can go ahead and just skip this video altogether. Um, but for those of you who do desire more time with your teens, I think this educational option will be a really good fit. Here's how it works. Your child goes to community college, takes classes, and makes sure that those courses count as high school credit. So yeah, I mean, they're going to community college, but every class counts as not only college credit, but high school credit. So they can finish up in a matter of no time. So how did I first find out about this option? Well, I remember exactly where I was at. I was in a swimming pool with another homeschool child who happened to be one of our neighbors and talking to this kid who was 14 years old, and I think he was kind of irritated at me because I kept asking him all these questions because I was just so amazed at what he was doing. And he was taking community college classes when he was only 14 years old. And I remember just questioning him, like, how could that happen? And he says, all I had to do was pass this placement exam and I was in. And my kids were still small and that just stuck with me. I thought, wow, okay, that means I could retire from homeschooling when they're about eighth grade and that got me really excited <laughs> because you know what I was tired I'm still tired I mean as far as this homeschooling thing because I've been homeschooling since they were in kindergarten when they hit eighth grade I semi retired I mean my work was never really done but my role changed it went from educator to administrator and tutor so eighth grade I thought you know what, I think Lindsay is ready. And I asked Lindsay, I said, do you think you're ready? And she says, yeah, yeah, I wanna do this. I wanna go to community college. And keep in mind, she's my mature one, so it was really a uh, no-brainer for her, I guess. But a lot of people ask me, don't you think that's a bit young? And it really made me a bit fearful and it made me question myself and even my husband. I thought, you know, maybe they're right. Maybe this is young. And I remember my husband saying, you know what, she wants to go, why don't we just try it? I mean, if it doesn't work out, we'll just pull her back in and try another option. So she started community college when she was in eighth grade in the fall semester, and she took one class. College is definitely difficult. It's not something that's just going to breeze by. I mean, you definitely have those classes that are easy A, don't have to do much homework, exams are easy, but then there are some classes, like for me it was college algebra because math is my weakness, and you know, I, for the whole semester I think I spent around 40 hours in the tutoring center. So, and you just have to try really hard in some classes, other classes will come really easy to you, but don't get intimidated by college level course, that's definitely not a reason not to go. And then there's our youngest. He started in eighth grade as well, but he decided, mm, I don't know if I'm ready to actually go to community college, so can I take the classes online? So he took one class his first semester as an eighth grader online. And then his freshman year, he told us, hey mom, dad, I do want to go to college. I actually want to physically go to community college. So he said, hey, why not? When I first started going, it was pretty obvious I was um, young, but I mean, after a while, it you know kind of became a normal thing, and people got used to it that were in my classes, and um, I didn't struggle with it too hard. Um, I mean, to be honest, I don't know if it would have changed really from my age or if I was 18, but I think what's hard for everyone is just uh, the commitment you have to put into it and the time. So for our kids, it was a huge win because they were able to take community college classes that also counted as high school credit. And that's why our daughter graduated so early, graduated with her associate's degree as well as her high school diploma at the same time, and she was only a junior in high school. I would suggest that they take any general education courses that you would need later in college, such as English 101 or 102 or 
college algebra or um, a science course. And I would also recommend that you just take like a couple fun ones just to see, just to give you an idea of maybe what you want to do when you get to university. Um, for me, I took my first biology class and I absolutely loved it. And so that's what um, led me into veterinary science. And I was actually originally a business major and I took a very basic business class. I also took an accounting one. And I learned that I absolutely hated it. So that's why um, it's good to take classes when you're young and when you're that age so that you, when you go to a university, you know what you want to do. Our son, on the other hand, he wants to take things slow because he's just in no hurry. And academically, he's definitely not like my daughter. But what it also gives him is time. See, he has five businesses, I know. I know, we're, we're just like blown away by it all. But three of them are online, and two of them are arcades in large shopping malls. You know, I wish I could give you a step-by-step -step on how that happened, but <laughs> that was totally organic. But he will tell you it's because he had time, time to pursue his passions. Yeah, community college really provides me with a lot of time that I can focus on stuff that I want to do, like run my own business or play sports. But um, yeah, it really gives that flexibility to, you can really prioritize your day and get the stuff you want done first. So I really like that part of going to community college. Okay, so not only can our students move ahead, but the savings. When Lindsay graduated as a junior in high school, she went into the university in the fall as a junior. So she saved us like two years of college tuition. And get this, because she did so well in early college, she got a 4.0 GPA, she actually was awarded one of the two top scholarships in her community college. So she won it along with another student who is about 30 years older than her. If you're in community college and maybe you've hit, you know, exams are coming or you have a speech to make and you're feeling very overwhelmed with school, I would just recommend just taking a breath because I've had so many of these moments, <laughs> but just taking a breath and using all your resources at community college such as a um, tutoring center like the writing center I went there a lot for them to look over my papers um, and the math center there's a science center which I use you can get one-on-one -on -one tutoring which I did for accounting and also let's say you have a speech or something just practice it in front of your parents you know if you have an exam use flashcards make a study guide just try as hard as you can and um, really put forth all your effort and I, I promise you'll do well. And the win to us as parents, my goodness, we had more time with our kids during the teen years. And you guys know if you have a teenager, I mean that's a time with awkwardness and rebellion and all those negative things that you always hear about. And no, it wasn't always perfect and there was this going on, but at least we had time to deal with it, to work on it. The time they have at home translates to me still being able to get involved, to be able to be in their world, to be able to have time to still develop our relationship, which truly, in my opinion, is the most important priority of all. And when it comes to socialization, that totally was not an issue during early college. It really worked out well because our kids actually saw other homeschoolers in their classes. And that's really no surprise, according to a lot of the community colleges. They say that homeschoolers make up the majority of early college students. But what if you've never been homeschooling and you've decided that you want to pull them out of school and start early college as a homeschooler? Depending on your state laws, you may still need to register as a homeschooler, but that's probably not going to be a difficult thing. Just register with the State Board of Education. And then you take the placement exam in the community college of your student's choice, and you're good to go. Now here's something that we did. We used an online program along with going to community college. Because our community college did not have all those classes to fulfill the high school requirements. There were a couple of classes that they needed to take on their own. And so how we were able to fulfill some of those high school requirements was going through an online program. But here's the key when choosing an online program. You want to make sure that those courses online are definitely transferable to that community college or that university of your student's choice. 
So all you do is pick up the phone, call the community college of your choice, and ask them, I'm going to be using this online program. Are the classes transferable? And if you know the university that your student plans to attend, I would also make a call to the university admissions department. And again, just to make sure. Now, I don't mean to scare you about this whole online learning thing, but there are a lot of scams out there that I've been hearing about, especially through the State Board of Education, where you hear these horror stories of teenagers taking these high school courses online only to find out that none of those courses counted as high school credit. So rather than asking the online program if their courses are transferable, the best thing to do is contact the community college and or university and you can just rest knowing that everything your child is doing is counting. In video number two, I'm going to tell you why I believe the early college program is going to be the fastest growing educational trend in America in the next three years. And I'm also going to share why Ohio residents have something to boast about when it comes to their early college program. And I'll walk you step by step on where to find the state education requirements for high school and what you can start doing to choose the community college classes that fulfill those requirements. And I will be walking you through those steps in the next video. And that's something you don't want to miss. I will actually share my computer screen and go through the process with you. Now I'd love to hear your comments on this video, so go ahead and post below. Let me know what you think. Let me know your questions, and I'll be sure to answer them in video number two. And watch out for that. You're not going to want to miss it. And remember, been there, done it, and I know you can too. Thank you.